You may have seen them turning down dark alleys or dashing through Seattle's streets at dusk. Who are these masked shadows? Phoenix Jones and the Rain City Superhero Movement. I'm Phoenix Jones, and I started a, basically a progressive block watch, where instead of just watching crimes and reporting them, we decided to intervene and stop them to keep the citizens safe. I don't want to stop crime by being in a fight every day. You know, um, when I first started fighting, I'd walk down the street and everyone would want to fight me. Every drug dealer on the corner wanted to beat me up for walking around being a symbol. Now they know what happens when they, when they mess with Phoenix Jones. The UW Police Department commented that they would prefer people just call 911 and not try to stop crime, as they believe intervening will only escalate violence. These superheroes made it clear that they're not vigilantes. They do call 911 and wait for the police to arrive, but they also intervene and detain the criminals first. We're not trying to get the citizens out here to uh, stop crime by themselves because they're not trained for it. You know, um, what we're trying to do is help people not stand around and do bad things. We're trying to get them to call and report crime and, and, instead of stand there and do nothing. You have to show people what you would assume would be the right way to live, you know, in and out of the mask. So when did Phoenix Jones become Phoenix Jones? We're playing at Wild Waves and we're racing back to my car and my son slips. So I pick him up and the blood's everywhere. And I, I cover his leg and he has a split from the top of his knee to the bottom of his shin. Uh, he fell in glass because someone had broken the window to my car. And I'm holding his leg shut and this guy comes running across the street with a phone, which is perfect because I was just at Wild Waves. I didn't have a phone on me. It was wet. It's a, it's a water park, right? And I'm like, call 911. And he goes, I can't. And I said, why? He goes, it'll ruin my YouTube clip. And he had a video of the whole thing, like the break in everything. And he wouldn't give it to police. And I asked him why. I said, because black people don't talk to cops, dog. You know that. And it, it hit me. There's a, there's a stereotype and a stigma that's happening. And people are afraid to step up because of the retribution of it. Shortly after this incident, Phoenix realized that he needed to step up and fight for people, regardless of the consequences. And I, I realized this is it. You've been training your whole life for this, like, accidentally. You know, you did, you did gymnastics for a while, you competitive fought, you have several, you know, professional mixed martial arts fights. This is what you do. I mean, you are this guy. Phoenix draws his inspiration from the comic book character Nightwing, a normal man who trained to become a superhero. Phoenix respects Nightwing because he tried to stop crime at its source instead of just beating up criminals. He was a good person all around who had the skills to fight crime. And to me, that's the only real superhero. I'm never going to find a guy who fell from the sky who has, can fly or that can, you know, jump buildings in a single bound. But I can do backflips off buildings and I can do parkour and I'm in great shape and I can lift, you know, I can leg press a thousand pounds. And I think that's as close as you're going to find. So what purpose does Phoenix believe he serves that official law enforcement cannot? At a time when it's harder to trust the, trust the governments and trust the police and trust things because of, you know, circumstances that have happened, you need someone who, in a, in a weird way, is like you. I mean, I'm just like every other 22-year-old. I'm, you know, I'm not crazy. I have a job, 9 to 5. I have a, I have a kid. I, I, have, I own my car. I make payments. You know, I'm just like everyone else. The only difference is I stand up for people, and that empowers everyone to be a superhero. I've seen people stand around and look at other people passed out on the ground and do nothing. I, I, I've seen people just walk by and no matter how small what we're, what we're doing is literally changing the face of how people see other people, how people see the world. There's a, there's a time when you have to say, am I gonna stand for something or am I gonna stand for nothing? And whether we're in a funny mask or we're walking down the street or we're in a dark alley, this is a group of 11 people who got together and with the best of their knowledge said, criminals, we're coming. And when you see my gold and black suit walk down the street, you better know why we're here. Our biggest possible evilest enemy is apathy. I'm tired of people looking at other people and doing nothing. And my entire crew's not gonna stand for it. If you see me on the streets, you can give me a high five and I'll appreciate that. Or when you see a crime, you can call 911 and do what we're all supposed to do. There's a hero inside each and every one of us, and it's time we do something.